Hello! Today I want to show you a little project of mine that I'm working on and it's controlling Nokia 6100 color LCD display via Raspberry Pi. For that I'm using Raspberry Pi GPIO and I'm actually using only 4 wires to do that. Uh, the front connector uh, it's only for powering Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, I, instead of using micro USB you can do in that way. Uh, in any case uh, I have a little setup here, it's the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, here is the LCD display, and this LCD display is Philips uh, model, I guess. Yeah, it's Philips, and it's quite nice for beginners. It has uh, 132 pixels in either side, so with an 8. Uh, it supports 16 bit of colors, uh, also can work on 12 bit color mode and 8 bit color mode. Uh, on the breadboard it's nothing much, only a step up booster on the left side and it, I'm using it to step up 5 volts to 7 because this LCD um, backlight needs 7 volts to work properly and it's not a very great solution because it outputs quite a lot of noise to the circuit itself but for now it's okay and up here it's only a simple voltage regulator uh, low dropout voltage regulator to uh, step down 5 volts to 3.3 because LCD display and the Raspberry Pi GPIO uses 3.3 instead of 5 volts so just bear that in mind if you're doing something uh, also GPIO and Raspberry Pi has no uh, security, no over voltage protections, nothing so uh, to do something more heavier you should use uh, your buffer, so simple transistors will do, but uh, for controlling this LCD it doesn't take much, so it's not a big deal. Okay, and uh, I've written the code in C, I took examples from, uh, from the Raspberry Pi's wiki to control the GPIO, and uh, I'm able to uh, get around 20 megahertz of uh, mm, switching frequency on one pin but uh, the faster I go uh, the signal becomes more or less uh, sine waves instead of square waves and this is only on 4 megahertz if I recall correctly and you can see that the signal is very distorted so uh, I don't know, maybe it's about the driver itself, maybe it's about the chip that it is not able to handle uh, output switching on fast rates, but in any case, even with that waveform, uh, this LCD display works perfectly, and uh, uh, well, everything is okay, so I will just run the program. Bam! Hello world, Raspberry Pi! So. As you can see, it's working, the refresh rate, I tried uh, with the two different images and well, it's quite fast, I don't know uh, the frame rate of it, but maybe with later uh, code I will do some double buffering and stuff like that and maybe it will be quite usable for some output, let's say like date, uh, file system users, maybe something like that, maybe some screen saver or well possibilities unlimited so yeah that's all for now I will upload my source code if you're interested in you will find it in description and uh, yeah stay in touch and maybe I will make something good of it <laughs> so see ya for now